I'm sweating, but I'm cold. Am I getting sick or do I have split personalities? What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing something I've never done before. That's good, because if it's something I've done before, that would be boring. I'm gonna be taking the 16 personalities test. I've taken this test before. I think I took it for like a college class. Not, not the whole class, but I took it for an assignment in the class. I don't remember what personality I got, but I feel like I'm a different person than then. So regardless, this of what I got. Let's find out what my personality is today. I mean, it's kind of narcissistic if you think about it. Like, I'm just learning more about myself. Generally, I'm like pretty optimistic, but I'm also really real. I'm so real. I mean, like, I look at things really logically and from a realist standpoint, but there are situations where I'm like, no, let's be a little optimistic. I'm really empathetic, but I feel like kind of as recently, like the past couple years, I've become more empathetic, but I guess that just might come with age. I feel like I know myself pretty well, but then I feel like if you break it down to a science or a psychological level, there's a lot of things I don't know about myself. We're gonna figure it out together. So it's saying it should take less than 12 minutes. Answer as honest, even if you don't like the answer. Try not to leave any neutral answers. Then why is neutral an option? First one, you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. No, I really, really like meeting people. You often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings to an extent. Wait, so I should kind of agree. Find it easy to stay relaxed even when there's some pressure. I do, for the most part. I feel like pressure actually pushes me to like work hard or be on my A game. Like if I know I'm in a high pressure situation, I'm like, all right, focus. There's distractions, don't get distracted. I just got distracted. I looked at one of Link's dog toys. You usually do not initiate conversations. Disagree, I always start conversations. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. Disagree, I do almost everything out of sheer curiosity. <laughs> being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. Agree, I think it is very important to be adaptable to any situation you're thrown into because I used to be a person that was like so stuck in organization and planning and all that that I feel like it crumbled me and that I got so stuck on one thing and if it wouldn't go the way it was supposed to, I would just like combust. So, adaptable for the win. You are usually highly motivated and energetic. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. I mean, yeah. You often feel as if you justify yourself to other people. Yeah. Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Not my house. <laughs> you don't mind being at the center of attention. I, I like being the center of attention, but on my terms, if it's for the right thing. So, agree. You consider yourself more practical than creative. Yeah. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Not at all. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. No, I can actually really relate to other people's feelings. In a discussion, truth should be more important than other people's sensitive. I didn't even read, I added my own word to that question. You are often envious of others. Yes. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. Disagree, I love to social event. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project, probably. As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart, absolutely. You do not let other people influence your actions. I do. <laughs> when you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. Not at all, actually. You are more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Yeah. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Uh, every girl ever. <laughs> you enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play activities. Absolutely. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan. Yeah. You are relatively reserved and a quiet person. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. Wouldn't anybody? You often contemplate the reason for human existence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Absolutely. If you're ever feeling emotional about a decision, I always say give it like 24 hours, sleep on it. I know it's overused, but the quote sleep on it is actually a thing because chemically your emotions are imbalanced when you're all frazzled and don't know what to do. So sleep on it, let everything come back together and then make a decision or have another mental breakdown. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Uh, I'm gonna be neutral about that. If your friend is sad about something, you're more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Absolutely not. I almost feel like I'm not emotional enough sometimes when I just wanna like shake my friends and be like, do this. You rarely feel insecure. 
Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. You see, I love to be right, but my morals know better. So this question's hard for me because my morals say disagree, but then I say agree. But at the beginning it said to be honest even if you don't like the answer, so I think I'm gonna say agree. <laughs> You think that everyone's views should be respected regardless whether they support whether they're supported by facts or not. Absolutely. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Absolutely. You frequently misplace your things. No. You see yourself as a, as very emotionally stable. For the most part, yeah. I still have my days though. You would not call yourself a dreamer. I'm gonna be neutral on that one. You usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. It depends what I'm talking about. If I am confident in what I'm talking about, say it's like a school project or something that I like studied really well and I knew all the material, then I feel confident talking about it. But if somebody was like, what do you think about tax policy? It'd be like, so for that, I'm gonna say agree. You worry too much about what other people think. I took offense to that. I read that as if like my computer was yelling at me and being like, you, you worry, worry too, too much about what people think. think. I do. This is getting deep. If the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Nope. The hors d'oeuvres are in the center. You have a tendency to procrastinate until there is not enough time to do everything. I don't procrastinate to that point. I procrastinate to the point where there's the perfect amount of time. No more and no less. So, little disagree. You feel very anxious in stressful situations. Doesn't everybody? You believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Yeah. You often take initiative in social situations. Yes. Results? Your personality type is campaigner. I'm extroverted, 76%. I feel like I knew that. I've always kind of knew I was more of an extrovert. 55% intuitive. Nature. This trait determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions. Oh, wow. 63% <laughs> feelings. I thought I was more thinking. I don't know how to feel about that. Campaigners you may know. Robert Downey Jr. Will Smith, Robin Williams, Drew Barrymore, Russell Brand, Quentin Tarantino, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Campaigner strengths and weaknesses. I'm curious, observant, energetic, enthusiastic. I'm an excellent communicator. I know how to relax. That's false. Very popular and friendly. I just spat everywhere. So those were my strengths. Here are my weaknesses. Poor practical skills. What? That sucks. I find it difficult to focus. True. Ooh, romantic relationships. I cannot live without a fire. Scott's a fire sign. Look at that. <laughs> okay, well, that's a whole lot for me to read. I don't think you guys want to sit here and just watch me stare at the screen and read. But for the most part, this test was really cool. It actually is different from what I remember doing in college, so maybe it wasn't the same test. But yeah, you guys should go take this test. It is on 16personalities.com. This is not sponsored by any means. I just think it's really cool to take personality tests. It gives context to who you are, so whenever you feel like things you do or habits you have or morals you have are bad or good, it kind of gives you a place to know that you're not alone. This does break it down to a number, literally 16 personalities, but of course there are more than 16 personalities. Everybody is different. But yeah, you guys should go take this test. Let me know what you are. Comment down below. All you campaigners out there, did I say that right? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Oh, also Merry Belated Christmas. I hope it was good and a uh, happy almost new year. As all of our teachers said growing up before Christmas break, see you next year. Bye.